We are the Crystal Gems. We'll always save the day. And if you think we can't, we'll always find a way. That's why the people of this world believe in Garnet, Amethyst, Peridot, Pearl, and Steven. And now that throws the whole thing off, now doesn't it? Steven Universe, message received, starts with the gems on Earth trying to get the drill up and going. But while they do that, Steven has some business to take care of. You see, that thing Peridot grabbed was a communicator with a direct line to the gem homeworld. And she's going to use it to get a hold of Yellow Diamond. So Stevie, tactical genius that he is, locks her in an old pickup truck. Well, he gives the communicator to the girls. But while that's going down, Peridot gets out of the truck and into her big robot so she can steal the communicator back. Then there's a fight and a chase scene, but finally Peridot succeeds in getting Yellow Diamond on the line. But then, amazingly, Peridot has a change of heart and decides to change teams. Well, she's off Yellow Diamond's Christmas list. Yeah, in honor of list. Message received, and it could have been great, are without a doubt good episodes. First off, it brings the newest Crystal Gems arc to a close. Peridot has gone from menacing villain, to joke villain, to annoying house guest, then ally of convenience, and finally, friend. And honestly, that was really well done. I was never sure of what Peridot would do, even when she was calling Yellow Diamond. Speaking of, the Big D looks to be shaping into one of those die-hard antagonists with both a lot of power and a huge ego to go along with it. Too bad I really don't care for her design. They seem to be splitting the difference between the simple cartoony art style they usually go with and a more realistic style. And frankly, I don't think it works. But maybe I'll get used to it. Also, I really liked YD's douchey Pearl Helper. She was great. Now onto the comedy. Amethyst is awesome, especially when she's mad at Peridot. Pearl is also great when she's trying and failing to comfort Steven. But Peridot is the comedy MVP. Her over-the-top antics are killer stuff. Finally, I'm not really thrilled with the lack of truly outstanding action or visual set pieces. The only big action moment is the chase scene with Peridot's robot. And visually speaking, the biggest thing we see is YD. And like I said, she's not that cool. And neither is her office. It's very disappointing for what could be our first view of the gem homeworld. So there's not a lot of icing on this particular cake. But gosh darn it, this episode is still cake. So I highly recommend Steven Universe Message Received. Now be sure and come back tomorrow for my review of Log Date 7152. And if you're interested in more reviews of anime, movies, TV shows, comic books, or video games, check out my channel on YouTube at StupidPrivate913, or find my Facebook and DeviantArt pages for video updates and more. Thank you for watching. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.